comrades, Kami Sabro here today with the second episode of The Rise of Space Djibouti. That's right. We are currently leading the Galactic Djiboutian Empire to great victory with our most recent conquering, or colonization if you will, of fish sticks, previously known as Mars. That's right. So, without further ado, let's get our roller coasters a moving, shall we? So far, we've got one little colony ship traveling into the deep, dark, dank areas of space. Now, it's generally not a smart idea to do that, especially with space pirates, like, just floating around in the, in the darkness of the void. But unfortunately, we're pretty desperate and strapped for, um, uh, what's, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, uh, exploration vehicles. So, <laughs> we're doing what we can. And uh, we're sending out colonists to basically be our first uh, responders to space as a toi. So yes, generally you know where a system is because of these little dots. Um, however, I am trying to kind of be a little careful with this, coloni uh, this colony ship. Ooh, ship graveyard, go there. Maybe you'll find something useful. Actually, no, you go there. Oh, no, it's protected by pirates. No, do not engage. Steer away from it. And I guess we'll keep this guy away from it, too. Check out that black hole looking badass, just chilling and whatnot. All right. Go back on your exploration missions, my good man. Okay. This is a radiation storm. Mine's 25% head points, 50% movement, and sensors. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, shit, I hope we find a planet soon. Otherwise, this is going to be a really boring video. But, hey... You know, uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? Sometimes in Great Djibouti, not all things can be as you want them to be. Ooh, infinite shards of infrared. Archaeologists have uncovered an ancient novel which was translated when revealed to be powerfully erotic to a broad panoply of species. Mm, bow chicka bow wow. When the novel was leaked to the general public, it quickly spread throughout the galaxy and has now been published in every known language, in some cases with very colorful illustrations. The recent... S oh, I get it, because the infinite shades of infrared, you know, 50 shades of gray. <laughs> oh, they're so funny! Hilarious. Hilarious. Seriously, I do love their sense of humor in this game. It's hilarious. <laughs> I might be a little bit overdramatic, but hey, you know, it's, uh, I actually kind of enjoy it. Yo, what up, Mr. Mr. Robot here? Uh, we got orbital manufacturing. Cool, so let's, uh, let's do something else. I forgot what I was trying to do last time, but I guess we'll get weapon systems and militarization so that we can actually uh, take on the evil beings that exist in our universe. Because clearly they all want us dead. And we, as Djiboutians, demand that the universe succumb to our roller coasters and our, our, our epic cotton candy fields that we have created on New Djibouti and or known as Fish Sticks. That's right. So let's what let's see what we can do with this uh, little co this constructor. I guess I'll send it to this uh, approval relic. I don't think I don't I don't think I have the technology to actually build anything next to it yet. But still, I think it'll be pretty cool. And if not, we could always send it to the north and build some mining star bases up there. So you know we'll we'll get what we want eventually, one way or another. We're going to find them. We're going to find them. Find them. Find them. Find them. Come on, come on, move quickly. These turns can't end fast enough for me. They need to be faster. Everything needs to be faster. Did we find a planet yet? What is up with this galaxy and how fucking dead it is? Like, this is ridiculous. Two planets. Two habitable... Ooh, wait, no, look. There's one. But unfortunately, we don't have the right technology. We need atmospheric cleansing. But at least we know there is indeed a class 15 planet. Apparently, it's a paradise, but it's a radioactive world. So... To some alien beings, it's nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't really I don't really know. I guess I can't yeah, okay, yeah. Build an Xeno archaeology model and any nearby to study this precursor. Okay, so we'll build a our first yeah, our first star base. Yes, yes, permanent structures. Look at that cutscene, and that's sexy. So we've built our first Djiboutian star base. Uh, right outside this approval relic. And we'll build another constructor ship, which we're doing now. It'll take about 10 turns. Oh, do you not need to do that now? Can you just upgrade it manually? Oh, you can! Oh, that's nifty. So nifty. You don't need multiple constructors to build stuff. It can build it automatically, which makes way more sense. But hey, whatever. That's cool. I like that. Nice little feature there. 
see, uh, they, they're little improvements everywhere. Little improvements everywhere. Fly, fly, you fool. All right. All right, interesting. Well, okay, we got weapon systems, good. Now let's get militarization so that we can actually build military shipyards and get some militarized ships out here. Oh, look! We've met our first alien, but we don't know what they're saying. Verus of Djiboutians, Tibot Krin, Orishi, Beha, Rinan, Holeris, Arasutoki, Nakudek, Menorit. Right. Well, that was a good conversation without our universal translator. We don't really know what they're saying, so, yeah. No, well, good talk. I'm glad we had it. I feel like I know you so much better. Oh, look. We finally found a habitable planet, Vista 3. It's heavily shielded by a dense magnetic field, very helpful to research and defense. That is amazing. So let's take our colony ship and send our colonists on their way. It'll be quite a few turns, uh, 14 to be exact, before they actually get to their target location. But that's okay, because we will finally have a third planet. Oh, looks like we had another galactic event. A sudden wave of patriotic fervor has swept across our civilization. All our people caught up celebrating great things we're doing. Such universal approval is incredibly rare. This seems an ideal opportunity to channel our people's energy into more constructive projects. All right, so this gift too great to this is a gift too great to interfere with. The approval was based on our people's appreciation for what we're already doing. Um, or eager, but unskilled labor has limited uses, but not non-existent ones. Let's start directing our people to blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's do this one. Yeah, let's use our people's fervor. It's probably because of our amazing amusement parks. Let's be honest here. Like, that's why they're happy. Why else would they just be so incredibly happy? I mean, we've just, we've got the best, like, you know, freaking, the best amusement parks in the entire galaxy. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, so we also got a point for our ideological traits, so we can actually pick what we want to put it into. If we get constructive, we get three constructor vessels. Uh, we can do exporters, which gives us plus one trade licenses. Neutral, no one will declare war on us for the next 50 turns. Uh, prepared gives us preparedness center, which is basically, I guess, like a bunker. I don't know. Let's go with this. Constructive. That seems like a really good one. But let's also look down the line to see what we can get further down the road. So maybe... It would make more sense to get something else. Like, oh, well, ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's go this way, the negotiator. Oh, should we go vigilant? I'm torn, absolutely torn. Enemy ships are not received. Okay, favored. Let's do this one because the Djiboutians are favor vigilant. We are a vigilant people prepared for anything. That's right. So why not go down the pragmatic path of vigilant? All right. So we've built an additional constructor. I think this one will send down to Duranthium. Yeah, down here. We'll send it down to that Duranthium and actually use it to make stuff. We can also actually start building like fighting ships. Right now we've got the battle axe, the sniper, and that one's just an exploration craft. Hmm. We'll build one. Actually, let's build one of these. Oh, look how cool that looks. Oh, look how cool our ships look. Oh, they're so cool. Oh my gosh. Good gracious. Goodness. Goodness gracious. All right. So we could build it. Actually, no. Let's build another colony ship. I wonder if we can buy it. Yeah, we can. We have enough money to buy it. So we're going to rush a colony ship. End our turn. Yeah, see, we still have plenty of dollars. We make eight income a turn. Uh, point two growth a turn. Yes, yes. Load the ship. And let's send it out to conquer another one of these planets we've explored. Because at this point, we've actually found four planets. Uh, two of which are currently habitable. Um, ooh, Sentinels Reach 4. That looks like a really good planet to take over. So we'll send our guys down there. And Djibouti will spread! Let's also build some uh, battle axes, I think. It's probably about that time to start worrying about defense uh, from other, other, less, less peaceful beings who actually want to bring Djibouti down. Because let's be honest, clearly if there's anything we learned about the original rise of Djibouti is that nobody wants to see a Djibouti make it. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And we will not stand for it. By goodness, we will not. Oh, I should probably get this too, shouldn't I? Yeah, Xeno Commerce. Need it. Let's get it. Idle ship. We got another idle ship. A constructor. Okay. Let's build our star base. Construct star base. Okay, that was easy enough. 
All right, and we'll turn this one into a mining ring. Yes, build that. Beautiful. All right, I wonder how many turns it's going to take. It just says building. I guess it only takes like one turn. Let's see if our other one actually ever finished. I think, I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. I guess it does just take like one turn. Oh, we got a trade offer. Hello there. You are wise to be generous to those with great power. All right, so basically 331 BC for art. Okay, so you're asking for money from us. And he'll give us a technology. I always love those deals. I accept. Thank you, sir. Good man. Good man. Research is always good in my book as far as I'm concerned. And it does seem like they're a little bit more technologically advanced than us. Let's actually go back and look at them. Oh, speak to. Speak to. I think actually it's too soon to talk to them because we literally just got done talking to them. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, oh, we can't, we can't actually trade with them yet. We're not technologically advanced for that. Oh, look! Cutscene! So many things are happening in one turn! Your mind has returned with the first load of Duranthium ore. Awesome. Awesome. That means we're going to have some pretty powerful stuff going on in the, the No Empire of Djibouti. The No Space Empire. Oh, goodness gracious. I could already see this is going to go on for a while. And look, we're only on turn 50. Oh, goodness. Goodness, sweet Djibouti. Look, like, look, that is only the section of space we've explored so far. Of all of this, of all of this territory that we have not explored yet. Good friggin' Christ. What have I created and what have I decided to do? But, uh, yeah, uh, I did not think that one through, did I? Ooh, in just two more turns. Two more turns. <laughs> we'll have... Uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Colonize Vista 2. 3. Vista 2, 3. Vista 3, 3. Vista, that one. You know what I'm trying to say here. Why are they both Vista 3? It's kind of immersion killing, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Because we're going to name it something else anyway. Because Djibouti. And I'm thinking, what should we name our brand new planet? How about, let's call it Rollerton. Yes. That's right, Rollerton is going to be our newest amusement park where all the citizens of Djibouti will visit and it will become a place of greatness. Actually, let's see. The primitive species occupy this planet once more. Uh, once far more, they accidentally ruin their civilization in kind of nuclear war. Uh, ruined cities dot the planet will likely contain valuable resources. We will work with the locals to determine the battle the most sacred site. We will evacuate or excavate and recycle the rest. We're not going to stomp through some blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think we're pretty pragmatic. We're going to go that route. So there's, ooh, hyper silicates. It's a trade resource. Look at that. Oh, that's just delicious. All right. So what does this do? Terraform one salvageable unit. Okay. We don't need to worry about that right now. Let's build a factory. I always like to build factories first. Uh, okay. And let us build right here. Oh, yeah. We got to build that. There we go. Factory. Build a research laboratory, a duranthium refinery, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Planetary defense system, definitely, because it's right there on the border. Um, I don't quite know what else we should build. I guess we should really rate, wait until we get the rest of our buildings, uh, which we should have in a few turns here. Okay, so we can now get favored. Do I have enough for that? Do I have enough for favored? I don't think I do. Unlock. I did! Crazy. Alright, so we got favor. Anyone at war with us receives a 25% penalty to approval. So that makes people less likely to go to war with us. Good job. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Well then, I think this is a good place to end this particular episode. We're making great progress. We're moving on to colonizing our fourth planet. Uh, one of the things about this game is you want to be very, very careful about colonizing too quickly. Uh, because you will start to have very negative approval ratings. You'll start to lose a lot, like hemorrhage money, if you don't have enough uh, commerce and whatnot going on. So it's something you got to be a little careful for, just uh, just so you know. Uh, what else should we do? I don't know. Let's go with this colonization: manufacturing, industrial. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching and taking your time for this. I know a lot of, a lot of you love Djibouti and whatnot. So I hope this is a series that you guys are actually going to sit down and, you know, enjoy. It's It should be fun. Again, this is a great game. If you, uh, if you like these types of games, feel free to go out and support the developer. You know, I think it's like $50 right now, and it's a pretty complete product. I like it. I very much like it. Uh, this is probably 
again, this series is probably one of my favorite series of all time in terms of like 4X space strategy games. So yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. So, but anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I will see you next time.